Hey guys, what's going on? It's Richard here from Richard's Touch HD and today I'm going to show you how to play Game Boy Advance games or DS games on your iPod or iPhone. So firstly, what you need to do is obviously jailbreak your device. Um, I will be uploading a jailbreak tutorial soon. I'm, I'm waiting for the 5.1.1 no, the 5.1 to release a untethered jailbreak because I'm running a tethered jailbreak at the moment because I'm lazy and I'd be bothered to um, downgrade to 5.0.1 for a untethered jailbreak so I'm going to have to deal with the tethered one at the moment and see what um, version I'm running it is the 5.1.1 as you can see there so then once you have um, jailbroken your device you'll get Cydia <clears throat> so firstly what you need to do is open Cydia <laughs> wait for that to open um, it does take quite a while to open so then you go to manage and there's two sources you need to add let me just show you how to get into sources you'll go on to manage and into sources right there so then once you have done that um, once you've gone into the sources you need to add two sources so you go to add and the first one is right on the screen there it's insanely i repository so you just simply type in repo dot insanely i dot com so once you've put that in you just click add source and that should install so um pause the video while that is installing and then come back to it when it has installed for the next part so the next part is adding another source so it's this source right here Excelese which is the second bottom on the screen no it's a, it's right on the bottom of the screen sorry I'm looking at my iPod not the um, computer screen so um, yeah go ahead and add that in do what you did before add and it's Cydia dot excelese dot com so just add that then once you've done that you want to go to search search gps phone and you want this one here you want the one that's from excelese so get the one that says excelese the logo for Excelese is oh dear, what's going on? What's going on? So it's that one there with um, the little black icon with a silver crossing. Looks like a X. <laughs> Doesn't look like anything. It just looks like a silver X. So once you've done that, install it. It says modify for me because I've already installed it. So once you've installed that, you should get an icon on your main thing that looks something like that, like a Game Boy. So once you've installed that, you need to come back into Cydia. Let's have a drink. You need to come back into Cydia and install one more, one more thing. It's the GPS phone BIOS. Now this is the Excelis one as well, so go ahead and install that and then come back to the video. Then, once you have done that, you should be able to go into GPS phone. And it looks something like this. And as you can see, I've already downloaded Pokemon Emerald. And let me just show you a quick example. This. So as you can see, it works perfectly well. It's a little bit laggy on the screen, but that's nothing to worry about. So just do. Oh. So then, what you need to do is obviously get the games. So what you do is you go to search in the top right corner of GPS phone, and you should get something like this. Um, you can use dope ROMs, or there's the one I personally use is 
cool ROM. This is my favourite one. I like to use this one. So go into cool ROM. Now you can search for ROMs. The games are called ROMs. So I'm just going to go ahead and get another Pokemon. So let's just search Pokemon and see what appears. Um, so what happened there? Here. Um, nothing. They're all the same, really. Um, let's get Fire Red. Everyone loves a bit of Fire Red. So yeah, Squirtle Charmander. Some screenshots of it. So then you download the file. And please confirm that you own and download in this file illegally. La 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 la. Confirm. Let's so confirm that. And it will download. So this little blue screen will disappear when it is done. Any time today would be lovely. So now you've downloaded that file, it comes up as a number, usually along the lines of that one there. So then, to get it like Pokemon Emerald GBA, what you need to do is go back into Cydia. Ooh, pardon me. And you need to search for something called iFile. This is by um I don't know who it's by. It's just the first one and it's blue. So just get the blue one. So then just install that. And then come back to the video and then once you've done that you go into iFile let me just go back all the way to start so you get this here alright I think I've gone back too far. Oh dear. Great. Jesus Christ, what have I done? Aha. So, just go into. If you if you're on the screen that I'm on. What you need to do is you need to get to this here, where it has applications, library and media. So go into media, scroll down to ROMs, GBA, and then find the ROM that you have installed, which is here, usually the top one. So yeah, so then you need to rename that to what it is. So Pokemon Fire Red. Then you need to put dot GBA. Now you're done. And then you can go back into GPS phone. And there it is. Bosh. There you go, just to show you that it is working fine. It is a bit laggy, but there you go. Pokemon Fire Red. Yep, yada yada yada. So, yep. Yeah. That's how you do it. Pretty simple, really. Um, not too advanced. Anyone could do that. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Oh, and oh, to get more ROMs, just go back into there. I recommend you use cool ROMs, but you could use that dope ROMs. I think it is if you want to but um 
I think Cool Roms is the best. It has more games on and it is easy to use. It is a mobile website as Dope Roms is a it's just a standard website and it's not very laid out brilliantly. But um yeah, which one ever tickles your fancy you go in and uh you use. I'm not gonna tell you what one to use. So yeah, thanks for watching the video. Um please subscribe if you if this helped and you enjoyed it. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Peace out.